Okay, hopefully the mic's recording. Just had a, a good night playing back online um, with Total War Napoleon. Can't play for ages on this. Just going to hit it on slow mo. So this is a three v three. Um, we'll just have a quick look at the army comps. So I'm playing as the UK or England as it was back then. With this one, we got two art, four lights. Um, and before we start, we've got three minutes set up as well. So this is Dresden. I'm going to be down in this area, which is quite a slow area. So I'm going to watch mostly what's going on over here. Now, the people also playing on my side have a much more frantic game. So we'll just watch what they do, I think, on this one. So here we have, again, get really down to it. Got the calf there. Moving down, we've got the Jaegers. So this is Switzerland, or Sweden, sorry. So we've got the Jaegers up front. We've got their line infantry behind. And then behind those, we've got more line infantry. Because it's not a major faction, so. It doesn't have many options. Okay, so Sweden. We're going to watch the Swedish gameplay. We've got, like I say, three minutes to start. So lots of line infantry. Let's go over here. More line infantry. And we have over here the cannon. Now, what did he bring? So he's bought nine pound foot artillery and five pound howitzers. That's the British, I think. Come back here and see what we've got on this side. So we've got twelve pound. Oh, that's quite good. Twelve pound artillery and six pound horse. I always bring some horse as well because it's good to actually um, get onto the battlefield quickly. Nice display of units set up as light infantry. Uh, that's kind of what I do as well. Again, he's set up his um, horse drawn cannons and he's getting them ready to fire straight away because he's going to go straight across the river, I would imagine. Okay, let's put it back onto normal speed. Right, Great Britain has got light foot, light foot, Highland foot, King's German Legion, and he's got some rifles. Rifles are always good. Foot guards, protecting them by putting them behind the houses. Now, when the game starts, we've got to get to the bridges. A little harder to defend when you've got artillery, but I think Napoleon's is quite good when you've got artillery. Um, I've put my two cav, I've got 15 Hussars and the Light Dragoons down here just in case there's a big push through here and then we can attack from behind but I, I'm mostly sort of like spamming Highland Foot and King's German Legion for my lights. I didn't go with rifles this time because although we got the extra range my job is just to stop them coming over this land bridge here and you can do that with just light infantry. Especially if you've got artillery set up behind. So that's my light infantry setting up. I'm going to send these three units over to support the town. And they're just going to sit here for the start of it. And then if they're needed they can move forward. So what's happening here? We've got... So it's the big rush at the start. 
we have the rifles moving into position, the artillery moving into position, and let's see what, yeah, we're firing straight away, Sweden, great faction, um, Sweden was, or Sweden general, Adolf Dolfusson, was the first person to use artillery in the modern way by using it and moving it on the battlefield to where he needed it. So already the artillery is taking some good shots. Let's just watch that again, see if they can fire it. Here we go. They're reloading. Reloading. And the howitzer is about to fire. And then the horse. Ready. Total War is absolutely epic, isn't it? Okay, we're ready. One more fire. There we go. Now let's have a look what they're firing at. What we've got over here. That's a good idea. Setting up stakes so they can't have a sudden push from Prussia who seems to be attacking on that side. So it's Sweden v Prussia. I was up against the um, Turks. So Sweden against Prussia, Turks, and then the English in the middle were up against who we got. I think they were the Russians. Let's have a quick look. Prussians, Prussians. Yeah. Oh no, Portugal. We're actually against Portugal. Let's have a look at Portugal's army. I haven't seen those before. Well, they were quite good. So, again, we've just got line infantry. And I suppose we've got some lights here as well. It's hiding them behind the houses so they don't get hit by artillery. Right, let's have a look at the lights. Uh, it is a six player game, so it is a bit slower. We've got swords coming in. Never like to see those. So the Genesaries. Absolutely excellent if you're ever playing a, a game where we've got to take a building. And they're coming over to support Portugal on this side. So if you do have to take buildings, the melee weapons are really good. Right, let's see what's happening over here. So like I say, it's a bit slow on this side, so I'm not going to really cover that. That's just me holding them off. But it was a little bit better on this side here. Right, so cannons are doing their work. They're pounding comes over here and look at that down to one piece of artillery which is pretty good and they, they, they've gone which gives this side the advantage now he's got another artillery piece love the sounds of cannonballs whizzing by let's have a look over here and we've got the Lancers. Lancers are always good. Good cheap cav, that's all you need. All you really want is fast cav to take out guns and light infantry. Wow! So it's just playing the waiting game. We've got the skirmishing force up here, so that will have quite a range. So you've got to use your artillery first. And just soften them up, but there's something happening in the middle. Let's have a quick look, see what's happening. They seem to be massing on this bridge. Now, this is Prussia. So, I think they want to take the bridge. We've got another bridge over here. And 
there's going to be a lot of action on this bridge later, but let's just see what's going on over here. Alright, so we've got the Prussia's Musketeers. Musketeers are nice because they normally fire a little bit quicker than um, than your standard rifles in rifle formation. Oh, that was a very close hit there. We've taken one out. And this is the six pound foot artillery or horse artillery, which is always good because you can move it. And we got the skirmishers coming in now, which is good. So they'll get range, especially across the actual bridges, which is good because then you can't pile up your infantry on one side. Okay, let's have a look what's going on here then. So that's exactly what I would do as well. He's got his main line infantry there. Can't get too close because of the range on the skirmishers. He's putting his skirmishers out in front. Fusiliers there. I would imagine they're coming under fire. They get one off as well because it's just line infantry there. So, where's the skirmishers? Ah, there they are. A bit late to the party, but the skirmishers are coming over here. Now, as you can see, my three units are going back towards me again because I thought, I thought, well, he doesn't seem like he needs it because he had a lot of reserves up here. And you never know; sometimes they really push through quickly, especially when they got artillery. But it's pretty much just a sitting game here. It's very easy to hold this area one way or the other, so when you are on a 6v or 3v3, you tend to get these two guys just set up there, just doing pop shots. Whoever makes the first move tends to lose. So it's always good if you could throw some troops this way. Now I'm going to throw three units, and then I'm going to put all my cav this way as well later on. Um, we've got Portugal coming in with their, let's have a look, it's a big push with their infantry. And we've got some Janissaries as well, so we've got some melee troops going across and they're going to try and take the bridge. Okay, so we'll stay with the Janissaries and see how well they do, because they're normally a very fierce unit. If you can take them on from distance, that's what you want to do. But if you can't, then you just got to hope that you've got enough rifles aimed at them. Highland Foot coming out of hiding. Hopefully we'll get shot away. But already he's going to put him behind the buildings, get him out of sight with the rifles. That's what I would do, but he's decided to charge. Okay, that's good. So he's lost a few but if they get into con that yeah, and he's charged as well has got a unit behind firing but swords against muskets you're always going to go for the sword Okay, that's good. He's pulling him back, and hopefully these will have a shot at the back of them. He's getting those behind his infantry, and he's really going for it. So who's this? Portugal. So we're just really, really shooting a load of troops across, getting ready to fire. And Dresden is, is already turned into a bloody battlefield. Lots of people. Come on, we need to shoot our. There we go. So we're up against Highland Foot of Britain against the Portugal in Portuguese infantry. So it'll all be about how many shots per minute now. 
and who is least tired. It's a good rate of fire from the British. And I think at the moment it looks like they're doing the most damage. That's a good volley. Oh, we've got rifles over here as well. So they're under fire from rifles and island foot. Now he's got a lot of troops coming in behind and he's going to see if he can spread out, maybe get behind them, take the rest of the... Oh, what have we got going on here? Looks like we're in hand-to-hand -hand fighting with Alan Furt again. The melee troops are moving behind over here. So they've actually gone quite far and we're in square over here because of these guys and the square over here so we've got Sweden line infantry King's German Legion coming across and we've got rifles at the back so this is quite good because they're still getting shots off into the back of these Janissaries so although they're fighting light foot, they are taking... Oh, they're about to take a big volley. That's not good. And he's going to line up behind them. And just protect this side. Right, so these Janissaries haven't really got along for this world. They're surrounded by guns. And they've just got swords. Set. But they did fight to the last. Okay, now let's have a look what's going on over here. Alright, we're getting some shots away. So that's Sweden light infantry against the Portuguese infantry. Now you can just see battlefield strewn with casualties at the moment. In real life, this would have been an absolute horror show. And we've got Portugal Light Infantry. If they are in range, they are going to beat the lights. Because Light Infantry will always beat Light Infantry if it's in range. The whole point about Light Infantry is that they're out of range of the main... They could do the skirmish line. Just have another bud. Help the narration. Okay, so we've got quite a good setup, lining them up. Been really aggressive. I like to see that in total. We don't normally get that in total. Also, well done to the Portugal player. It's moving up. He's under fire from the Highland Foot, and he's under fire from the Line Infantry as well. And he's under fire from something around this corner. So he's got three fields of fire. Let's have a look. Now, that's not good. So this edge, although it's under cannon fire, we've got light foot taking the sides, the flanks of this. This will demoralize this group very quickly. Okay, we've got the lights coming in, but they're too close. So they're in range of the... In fact, that's what was happening here. The line infantry is dropping like flies, but the Highland Foot is in range of the lights. And yeah, well, that's what's going to happen. If you put light infantry in front of your line infantry, it's going to get slaughtered. You've got to be at distance. Okay, so they're pushing on this side. It looks like the attack's starting to fade out on this side, down to 35 men. 
Now, even though they've got cannon support, there's a lot of infantry there, so I don't think these are going to hold. Right, now these guys are shooting in the back of these, so that's not great. We want to move those out of the way. Got more Janissaries coming in. So it's a real push, it's an all or nothing push. And this is what you don't want. They caught Highland Foot, there's not many of them left, but they're now in range over here and they're just getting shot. And they're, they're writing now, they're leaving. But they were sent over by the guy that was facing me on that, that corner there. So we both sent three or four um, of our troops across to help. Again, we're now in a fight with the King's German Legion. Let's just see how well they do. Let's get right in amongst them. It's a good volley. Another good volley, but King's German Legion is really keeping up that. What have we got coming through there? It looks like more British troops. Another good volley. Two or three shots been returned. How are we doing? We're not we're not falling like we did to the other ones. Another good volley. So they're picking up a good rate of fire. Another volley. That's, in fact, they're firing really well. King's German Legion pottering away. They seem to be about matched. Let's move back a bit. In fact, I think they might be doing more damage. Down to 88, 72. Another good round. But I can see more and more British troops lining up. Absolute carnage here. That's the thing about being aggressive. Let's have a look around here. Right, there's a cav charge. Janus Fees have decided to leave. They're, they're gone. Highland Foot, very effective. And Sweden. So poor Portugal's getting hit by three different factions. Um, let's have a look down here. 1908 Jaegers, Casadoras, Casadoras aren't going to be able to hold. They got line infantry, and we got King's German Legion coming in as well. Alright, so that's not too good there. So we're making another retreat. Now, it's military almost etiquette that you never reinforce defeat. And that's because if you if you're you didn't manage it the first time then you're not going to imagine second and what we've got here is they're getting stuck on the bridge so as they're trying to retreat they're all trying to retreat and it's glitched a bit and we're stuck and the king's German Legion and the artillery are just okay we've got the Janissaries coming in are they going to make a, a charge Yep, they're making a charge at these King's German legions. Okay, frame rates drop right down because there's so many people moving. But yeah, so it looks like he's thought twice about that attack. Let's have a look what we got over here. We've got the... Infantry. I thought that was some sort of horse over there. Ah, oh, we've got Portuguese cavalry as well. There is quite a lot of Portuguese behind us though. So they can come back. In 
fact, I think he's transcending his cavalry. Yep, he is charging in, trying to get them off guard, and he hits Sweden's line infantry, and they don't have time to make square. That was a good charge. However, the King's German Legion did make square, and we've also got another line infantry here, and we've got Highland Foot coming around the back as well. That's going to be that's going to be tough. Right, they can't really. They're going back as well. Oh, that's a Harrods of fire. Now we've got light infantry coming in. Again, it's too close. The light infantry will be too close to be effective. And they're going to go toe to toe with line infantry, which is never good. And a Highland Foot are coming around the side. Now, if these had lined up here, they would have had a range on the Highland Foot. But they're going to be supported by their cavalry. The cavalry is coming back in. And they're going to do a charge against the line infantry. But we've got Highland Foot coming in from the side. Line infantry coming in, stopping, not deciding what to do. Okay, this line infantry is going to absolutely shred these if they get shot in. You want to charge them straight away. At least if you get them in melee, they can't shoot. There we go. It's starting to fire. So you've got one, two, three, four. Four units firing into this group. They haven't got time to set up yet. Brave, though, to come across the bridge like this. He's sending in. He's really going for it, sending everything he's got. Maybe, with the weight of numbers, there won't be enough time to load, because it is a slow loading rifle. The Highland Foot are just firing into the side. And they're all blobbed up, so they can't see any fire coming from these line infantry. I've got a good hit on the artillery up there. Pile of foot are going to fire again. Let's go over and have a look at them. Right, they're just doing what they do. And that's their target. Could have sent at least one unit over to get them into melee rather than left them just shooting into the side like that. Mind you, I bet these are hard, hard to control now because they're so blobbed up. We've got line infantry from Sweden and we've got King's German Legion in melee. They're trying to break through there but there's even more Black Watch coming through there now. Portugal's kind of like stuck on the bridge. Now we've got some good infantry against the Highland Foot. They should be fired across. Yeah, there we go. And now we're getting results into the Highland Foot. Getting them into melee as well, which is good. There's so many soldiers here. This was a real... Oh! We've got 7th Hussars coming in. 7th Hussars, which means these will not be able to make a line, they will not be able to get into combat. It is now basically an old fashioned sword fight. There's no use of rifles, cannons exploding in amongst them, and the high pack. It was a very brave experiment. got a line of black watch firing. Good cannonballs coming from that side though. Okay, 
now. I would have left them there to shoot, but he's, he's throwing more in. One thing you've got to remember is you never reinforce. Although it seems to be working with the Highland Foot, they're getting behind them. The numbers are right down, so the Highland Foot has basically been wiped out. Oh no, they're across here. Oh, and they're still firing. That's brutal. So it's almost like they're trapped. What's this coming in behind? More calf. Light foot now. Frame rates dropping. Absolutely brutal. Light dragoons. So they're about to be hit by light dragoons. Getting some good shots from the Black Watch. They are getting a few shots off. Cavalry's getting the mix in there, it's going to be mayhem. And we've got the general coming in to counteract the cavalry. So this really is desperate stuff. Keep the men's morale up. Been shot at by the Highland Black Watch. Been charged down by the Hussars. 15th Hussars as well, charging the Light Brigade. And Hussars and Highland Foot and Black Watch. And now I think that's even more cavalry coming in. Who's this? Even more cavalry coming in. Who are these? Oh, well, I'm down. Yeah, so even more cav, it's just a slaughter now. So these are just um, light dragoons and these are some got the Portuguese general trying to hold them off and then all the while the Black Watch and the Light Dragoons and the King's General Legion are just firing into it. Have we got anything on here? Yes, we do have some lights from the Ottoman Empire firing, giving it a little bit of support but I, I think it's too late. We're starting to run out of numbers. Swedish line infantry now just freely firing into the side. We've got light dragoons taking on the. Who have we got back here? Taking on the Cheddits light rifles. Let's have a look at those from up. So, this is the Ottoman Empire, so basically Turkey. And they've got the muskets going, and they're very good, very long. Oh, nah, he was taken out by King's German Legion. Very good light infantry. And there we go, light foot over there, returning fire. Let's go back to. And that's it, the calf has run, but so has the line infantry, it's broken. Portugal's general staff 
Oh, uh, Black Watch has chased him down. <laughs> so that's the general, Portuguese general. He's got his sword out. He's going to do what he can to save his men. Seeing if you can charge down the Black Watch. Could have been a little bit of a mistake. Black Watch is not going to take too much to take him down. There we go. General's gone. But, very brave and very good attempt. That's pretty much Portugal gone, I think. We have got some Ottoman Empire rifles at the back here to hold. Um, we've got some pressure. Okay, pressure's brought up some artillery as well, that was good. And these guys are firing across. This is how you want to lose, use your lights. They can't be charged, but they've got the range. And who are they going up against? They're going up against Jaegers. So Swedish Jaegers. And there's a lot of them. Okay, so after all that carnage, look at that. Just look at all those dead bodies. That just became a killing ground. Now we've still got range on here. Not seeing much like that from the light foot. So these are good. I mean, they're flying quite high, and you've got. It looks like harassed rounds coming in, so we can't bring these troops up. Which is good. So it's all going to slow down for a bit now, just bringing up the Aegis. So this is skirmishing battle. So we've got quite a few British troops here just taking a rest. The Swedish line infantry is moving up now because a lot of this has moved over here. And you can see the fighting here must have been really fierce as well. There's been some really fierce cav charges. And this just slows down, it's the ebb and flow battle. It's just a skirmishing battle now. 68, 75, 44. Well, it's just numbers, if, if you're not making enough numbers. Okay, Portugal's infantry's come under fire. These guys have moved off. We've moved over here because I'm putting pressure on this side. My howitzers are trying to take these guys out. I brought up lots of lights and line infantry just to draw them forward. But that's not really my battle. This is their battle in the middle. I'm going to send two regiments across here to assist Sweden and they'll line up over here we'll see how they do and this is what I like about Dresden it's, it's all areas where you can snipe the sides of other people we've got line infantry coming in on both sides got fusiliers here they were ready for cav, they had stakes but it didn't come these guys are going to get caught, if they're not careful line of a tree will just mash them up 
and there we have line infantry let's watch them are they in range? oh yes they are it's a big volley and they, they just can't hold amongst that it's a good idea to get them out of there still got quite a bit over here pressure and we've got the Ottoman Empire again because we're caught over here so we're both sending units over to force this side because we can't do anything we're trapped in this stalemate over here just ex exchanging cannons whoever tries to push is going to lose and then they're going to open up the left flank so we've just got to fight this war slowly and it's got to be fought in the middle Right, Sweden is losing a little bit here and if you notice can you see that I'm sending Highland Foot and Foot Guards they'll be two good groups good setup here with his musketeers and Sweden is going to counter it with his line infantry Oh, and that's a good artillery hit as well. Right, so these are the Prussian Musketeers. Yeah, that that artillery strike through those. I'm moving out now. Setting up the line, ready to fire. This would be equivalent of a brown best musket around this time period. It should be a 50 calibre or 54 calibre ball. Probably travelling around about 1000 feet, 800 feet per second. But it's a big lead ball, so when it hits you, if you're lucky, it'll just go through you. If you're unlucky and it hits bone, it'll actually push the bone out the other side. So, wicked weapon. So, he's just ready to hold this area. Let's see what's happening over here. Yeah, we've got Highland Foot and Light Foot coming across. We've got four brigades of Swedish Light Infantry. And we've got two Prussian Musketeers holding it. Three. So it's not doing too bad. Let's see what happens as they push forward. This is why playing online Total War Napoleon is so good. It's much better than just playing by yourself. Okay, they got hit hard. It's made them rethink the line. If they can get behind that to give some room for their skirmishers up front, that will have an advantage. Or are they just going to leave the line? No, nope, they're moving back and putting the skirmishers in front. Good. Good total war tactics. Because there's a lot of infantry coming. Well, are they going to be able to hold this side? Let's have a look. Oh, he's getting down with the cannon. So these are Schutzen. And they have range, so they are firing at range. But we do have... Who's this? Yeah, so they haven't got the range. So these British troops are not. Oh, they are in range. And so is the artillery. And we've got even more British troops coming in to help the Swedish troops as well. And the Swedish troops come around here. They're about to get out positioned. Once that happens, the rate of fire will be way too high. That's why he's moving in his musketeers. And 
they're rushing down line of infantry. Oh, they're rushing across. They're gonna go into melee. Yeah, get them out of there. And they've stopped. This is gonna be brutal. Ah, uh, they're going to try and get into melee before they can fire. That's a good idea. Do you have Highland Foot going around the back, mind you? And we've got 42nd Black Watch coming through. Okay, that's an elite unit, so we don't want to be. More Foot Guards coming in. They're quite an elite unit, too. And it looks like they will be able to shoot because they're not in melee, so that's good. So pressure's holding. The cannons are coming in. Okay, we've broken the and we've got some more light foot coming in. Oh, brutal. Point blank. And a charge. Right, time to get the lights out. Looks like the light foot has fallen back. Black watch coming into melee as well. It's going to be too much. Yep, they're running. Foot guards and quality unit there under five from the line infantry. But again, we have the Ottoman Empire coming in to save the day. Black Watch taking down quite a few. And we have the Swedish Line Infantry moving across as well. Ah, and who's this? Lightfoot. So they're completely surrounded by melee now. And we've got the rifles as well. Rifles are bypassing. Swedish unit taking some shots off. More Prussian foot guards coming in. Rifles are taking out that line. What are these guys doing? They are enough. Or are they going after a target? Nope, they've had enough. Okay, so what we've got left here, lots of Sweden. British rifles. Oh, well done Musketeers, you've got good space on that. You are about to take a... flank has fallen. Steady fire from the bank. Now that flank's gone. Let's go back over here. Completely stopped. So many losses. The Coldstream Guards have been beaten on this side by canister shot. 
Is this moving up? Oh, Sweden. Well done, Sweden. It's your Jaegers. That'll have range. Foot guards are running as well. Are you out of them? Right, why are you charging in? You're out of ammo. Okay, so it's light against light. No ammo. It's whoever's freshest. Wicked. Well done with the bayonet there. How brutal was war in those days. Right, so they have cleared that path. Our men are running from. Yeah, we're running again. They've got the cannon set up there, and it looks like they have. They had a good. viewpoint on there. These guys are running through here. What are they going to do? Oh, trying to stop the Swedish lines from breaking. I don't think they will. See who gets the first shot off. That's uh, Sweden. Okay, we're gonna. Looks like we might have a charge. Oh, we got that musket ball right in his chest. Oh, what's this? Highland foot coming in behind them. They've got to move. They're gonna get sandwiched in a minute. For a small group, they're hanging on. Jet infantry. Now, these are my troops, and I do have a glitch in a minute where they don't fire, which was very annoying. Okay, so he's lined up here. So what I'm going to try and do is get behind them here. But he's seen that and he's already bringing these rounds, so excellent gameplay. Now, the balance of power is with us. But we're going to try and have one unit hold here and one unit go behind. Now he did get the first shot off, but it's a large unit I've got. The deeper the unit. Now he knows that I'm going to be behind him now, so he decides to charge. If you've got good melee troops, why not? And now one unit is going to peel off. And one unit is going to face this infantry. And I'm just waiting for them to fire. You can fire at any time. Come on, you can fire at any time. And they're just staring at them. Maybe they're too tired to fire. They just don't fire. Come on, fire. They run away because they expect them to fire, and they don't. We need to move out of the field of fire up here now. So we're going to get into this point. These guys should be firing. But they're glitched. Right, so we're going to turn... See, these are still alive. So now we're surrounded, even though there's probably three units to make up our one, we're not firing. 
they're just taking lots of shots. You want to fire your gun, that's what you do. Right, so now I I get a message saying, why aren't you firing? And I look at them and they're not firing, so I think we try a charge now. If they won't fire, they're going to go into melee. But they've taken so many losses now, they are going to break under fire. Okay, I'm going to move these out because these guys were about to get the... Mate high ground. Now all I can do now is get into this building. If I can get into that building I should come on into that building. Because we're going to take some shots in a minute. So my thought was, if they're not going to fire, if I put them in the building, at least then they'll have to come in and have a melee fight with us. And that was just like a firing squad. But we are going in there, and I think... Just the fact that we're in the building has undone the glitch and we start firing. Are we going to start firing? Or are we just safe in the house? I don't think they were out of ammo. Yeah, they're starting to fire because they're in the house, they're firing. Okay, so he moves those out of the way, and we just hold this unit for a little while and fire out of there. Now everything starts to slow down, we're in stalemate over here, got lots of troops but to be honest if I push through, well I will in a minute because it's near the end of the clock. When it gets to 5-2 I'm going to push through. But you'll just get churned up. You won't make it through. Uh, we have got a line of foot guard here. They can move forward but... Because of the initial carnage... There's just... Not much left. Now... Um, bringing out the Highland Foot because he's taking his guys away over there I think if we hit fast forward now just giving our guys rest there's a lot of cannon fire going on we still have Decent amount of Highland Foot here, 122, but they're tired and they're away from the main body. Everything else has just been absolutely massacred. We've got foot guards here, stop them coming across the bridge, but they're not going to come off the bridge now. They've got two artillery pieces set up. They've got some good infantry positions that are getting shelled. They're in straight lines, so they're not going to take too many losses. So this is pretty much a draw, but quite an exciting draw, and look at all those English dead, Swedish dead, Portuguese, So here's a little bit of a last charge, let's get in amongst them, we've only got a few minutes to go 
and unfortunately we're firing into the hill so I need to move up and when I move up it's absolute carnage I managed to get into melee but there is a line behind that's gonna fire at me and these are good melee troops really good so I brought them in close hit them again with the artillery got all my troops here send another batch across it's nearly the end of the game under heavy artillery fire Highland troops really really good and let's try melee again it's a bit of a long run and it's up a hill but they actually last for a little bit longer maybe even start to break oh that was a wicked bonus straight so they move back as well we move back and it's really sad we've just got a few light infantries each we've got our cannons it's just stalemate um, at some point I bring these forward but I've already agreed to let it be a draw so obviously I'm not going to attack very quickly with them because once you agree a draw then it's you agree a draw but if you just have a look at that carnage that bridge this is where the Portuguese army just basically tried to get across tried to play aggressive and in the end it just didn't come off for them but everywhere else really highly defended pressure points it's what makes Total War a great game it is okay so we'll come up here and we're up against cannon with canister shot so that's not going to last very long getting in amongst them they are an elite unit and they're blasting a few there we go and that's it we've had enough well there you go that's a three versus three Napoleon Total War still an excellent game great people to play with on the server and um, there was absolutely no um, no problem at all and just great right let's just fast forward it till we get right to the end and we should have the draw coming up anytime now there we go all right so 1300 for me 1700 for Enco very good 1900 well done Jonas 1800 so Leonard von Strothfield Tantalus 2015 well done that was Portugal I suppose Chief Crazy Dog 15 okay oh sorry so we've got 1100 2000 that was a good one 1700 2400 that was brilliant well done 763 1344 so excellent all round well done and I'll see you next time for Napoleon Total War and um, we'll, we'll just do the multiplayer games on Napoleon for the moment. Right. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you like it. And leave a comment.